Perfect. My name is Rafi Mediavilla from Kitticologos.com. First, Becky, Angus, and Jazz, thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk about this first season, and congratulations. Thank you so much. So I got a first question, and I, I wouldn't forgive myself if I didn't ask about this, because to me, the star of the show is not Manuel. He thinks he's the star of the show. To me, Winston the Park is the star of the show. Yes. You get it. You yes. totally understand 100%. the show. Winston the Park. Yeah, you get it. Come on. Come on. Yeah. So I got to ask, how was it working? Your experience working with that? He was that he was a diva? Was he asking for lines, more screen time? How was working with somebody that big? Wow. This dog, first of all, it's a very serious show. All you need to do in a very serious environment is put a pug in the middle (laughs) and put a microphone in front of it because we'll be having, we'll be talking about murder and how we're going to solve the puzzle. And you hear snorting and like, (laughs) like grunting. Those things make a lot of noise. So I'm sure the sound people had to turn the sound way down. Um, But it was delightful. There's something very comforting and actually very normal these days post pandemic about having an animal with you while you work. So as absurd as it might seem to have this funny looking pug at the office, I think it's actually way more common than we realize. I think Winston was actually a girl named Luna. That's correct. (laughs) Very versatile, very versatile. (laughs) She plays most girls. Mm -hmm. That's uh, awesome. I wanted to get that question because you know, I, I, I feel that was so interesting. I have two pups at home, so I know how they are. Oh, wow. before, I, before I dive into, you know, uh, uh, all of the other questions, I got I to gotta tell uh, Angus, your voice. Oh, my God, it blew me away. How did you tell your agent to get you into more Batman animated video game oh, uh, uh, you know, um, additions? Because, wow, I mean, I, I was thrown away by your voice, Angus. So I, I, got, I, I have to say that. Um, this question is for Sir Angus and Becky. You, but they said you play a couple in the story, and on the story works the way it gets handled. But I wonder what are the do's and don'ts in real life to make sure this this relationship works. I think that on the surface, working with your ex could seem like strange territory. I think that clearly Mickey and Lorna have a past. But if she's running his office, they've resolved it. They still are interested in each other's well-being. They want each other to win. Where it gets complicated is also at the office is Lorna's new love interest. And I think we can see that triangle come to a head because it's the first time we see Lorna nervous about making Mickey upset. And the show deals with that really well. They acknowledge that this is weird. I think Mickey right away says it's not weird for him. And then it's up to Lorna and Cisco to figure out how to navigate that comfortably. Um, but it is a complicated situation. It's not just an exit work. It's an ex and the new love and they have a backstory. So it's very complicated, wonderfully complicated. Mm-hmm. What about something? Well, I, I feel like they, ironically, the, the initial common interest, certainly from for Cisco was was their duty of care for Mickey. I think when he was, I don't know if, if your audience know that, but he was a, a recovering addict, and um, and we both cared for him uh, according to um, the, the existing um, literature. So uh, that was an e- that was an interesting jumping off point, certainly for um, Becky and I, that our shared. Uh, common interest and it happens a lot I believe with with carers and what have you and when people come together over grief share a common grief you find a um, a certain um, uh, synergy and understanding in, in that grief there's no right and wrong with with it and I'm not not to say he's grief but um, so yeah they're, 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 it really does feel like there's a great respect in the across the characters in Michael's world um, even even if they are breaking the law, you know, there's a kudos for the initiative. Jas, one, one question for you. What were you able to learn from your character that was so grounded and had a lot, a lot of in, in common with Mickey? I mean, studying addiction, you, you really, really learn a, a lot. Um, one thing I have is a great respect for recovering addicts. Um, because it's diligent and it's a daily work that they have to do on themselves. And I think that's what I can take from Izzy is like the work never stops on yourself. Like there's a daily work uh, that you have to put in. And I think it's really, really unique that they have, you know, Mickey and Izzy connecting on, you know, the journey of recovery. 
um, which is hard and you need support in. And I love the fact that they did that so so just so creatively and it was written so well oh and it's just it kind of evolves over the course of the season which is incredible again thank you or the three of you awesome season congratulations and thank you once again thank, thank you, you.